welcome to the demo scene for the Gargoyle Pack PBR. I'm going to go pretty quick because we've got some new stuff to show you. These are all the lighting setups. Uh, this point light's a good approximation of what might look like inside interiors. Uh, some color point lights so you can see what the guy looks like in uh, different lighting scenarios. We've got spotlights straight down. I'm going to stick with the daytime light or point lights. Let's stick with the point lights, that way we can see some of the line effects on the magic spells. Um, so we've got some uh, different texture sets. This is the default texture set that comes with the package. You also have these other ones that I've made that also come with the package. Uh, you can create your own texture sets, however. They are all customizable inside the editor. And also the source files for Substance Painter um, are available as well. So you can, if you have Painter, you can create your own uh, textures. Uh, so there you go. And uh, you got blend shapes. Blend shapes are pretty cool. Um, you can change the look and feel of the bot of the character just by using sliders inside the editor. And these are all something you can just save. Uh, just that's, that's cool stuff. Uh, the idea. Probably zoom this to the front. Huh? Keep it on the front. Zoom in a little bit. So let's see, we got the head here, different shapes for the head, uh, jaw shapes, uh, ear length, his ears really big, nose length, his nose bigger, arm girth, skinnier, tougher, muscle size, just those muscles right there, pretty cool because he's got very defined muscles, leg girth and leg muscle. His feet right there as well, tail girth, tail, tail length, his wing flaps, you can adjust those around a little bit, the bone thickness on the wings, claw length on the wings as well. So there's a lot you can do with that, uh, randomizing between them to make a lot of cool different looks. So let's talk about the animations. All the animations now have uh, sound effects with them. Let me zoom out just a little bit and I'll start the rotation here. So this is the standard idle. We do have a few static statue animations that you can work with as well. The package does come with uh, uh, some stone and marble textures to work with them so that if you want you can have them as a static statue and then when perhaps the player comes around he turns alive or something and uh, attacks the player. So this is our idle break. Attack one. And all these sound effects are in uh, layers, so you can mix and match and create the right sound for your game. You can also export them into individual sound effects if you want just a single sound effect that matches the animation and the style you're looking for. I like that animation. Attack. We've got this cast animation. That one can go on for as long as you want, just hold it. And the block begins just a something you can hold for as long as you want. It's a looped animation in the middle. Is got hit. And his death. See that one small. Right. And he also has uh, Locomotion, he walks forward, of course. Walk backwards. And then he can fly in the air. Zoom out just a little bit. This is his uh, idol. He's got attacks. Fly attack two. Get hit in the air. <laughs> He's got this other buff type cast as well. And my entire particle system comes with the package as well, so you can create your own particles if you don't like the ones that come with it. And he can fly forward, of course, fly backwards. And what's really cool, the ground, the go ground and go end uh, transition animations work really well between the walking and the flying. 
Uh, and then in the air, of course, you can also be hit and die. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. The package also comes with concept art, all the source files for Substance Designer, Substance Painter, uh, textures that are customizable but also pre-created so you can just uh, work with them right away. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know on the forums. Have a great day. Thanks.